All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the HostAway webinar series. Uh, my name is Marcus from HostAway, and we're going to wait another 40 seconds until everyone's in here. Today, we're going to talk about um, smart locks, which is really exciting. Now, uh, we are going to record this webinar. It's going to be available on YouTube within 24 hours or, or however long Zoom processes it and YouTube processes it. Um, you can use the, the chat if you want to send an introduction where you're from. We've got, uh, we got a wide team here uh, representing today. we got uh, Maria, our VP of product from Barcelona. Um, we got me from, uh, I'm still in Toronto, Ontario today, but tomorrow I'll be in Orlando preparing for VRMA. If you are coming to VRMA International, send us a message, come stop by our booth. It's going to be great. Then we got uh, Josh Lowe, our chief customer officer, who's based in San Antonio, Texas. He will also be in Orlando with us next week. Um, so please use the chat. Now, for any questions, use the Q&A function. We'll try to... Uh, hello, Imran from UK. Very nice to meet you. You know, we just hired a massive team in UK, so we're going to... We're going to expand there and I'm going to come visit as well. That you have you have some really cool trade shows that I, I used to go to and uh, we're going to go there next year. Um, hi, Robert from Montreal. Very nice to see you here. Same thing with Ajani from Las Vegas. I'm not going to read all of them. Now, let's get started. It's one minute past. So first of all, to those of you who, who don't know and came to check out HostAway, uh, we're the leading all-in-one short-term rental software for property managers we got we, we've quite quil, quickly grown our team we're almost 150 people or maybe we're 150 already uh we have a large large part of our team is uh focused around uh europe and the east coast of north america but i think we have already five people in vancouver as well and a couple of new countries here uh nairobi kenya and uh, our Australian office is also expanding very rapidly, thanks to all the Australian customers who are watching this recording because it's in the middle of the night over there. All right, then. Uh, so I can, I, I used to say this a while back that we're the fastest growing, but uh, now that we're super big and everyone's using us, it's it's quite shocking to see the numbers that we're, we're actually still the fastest fastest growing. And we're going to make sure we, we stay up with the growth. Um, first of all, how are we different from all the other vacation rental softwares out there? Uh, we have the highest partnership tiers with Airbnb, Verbo, Booking.com, Expedia, and we're also integrated with uh, Marriott Homes and Villas, Google Travel, and about 10, 15 other, other channels. This is really important. For example, just last week, I saw a lot of people complaining about the short stay cleaning fees on Airbnb. And that was a feature which has been available for a long time through us, but was just released to the public and something went wrong and people got bookings uh, outside of, uh, well, with a zero cleaning fee. And this is why you want to make sure you use a good software partner that is on the highest tier uh, status with all of these companies, because any changes that they're planning to make, they consult us. Uh, we get to give feedback on the customers and we get to implement the functionality before it's available to the public. So you're always going to stay up to date. And uh, even if you're not using HostAway, join our webinars. Um, they're a great way to learn about what's coming up. Now, the one thing that makes us very different is the support that we offer. If you check our reviews. Oh, Victoria is asking, is there anything new coming up with Airbnb? Well, you'd have to join the Airbnb webinar. We're hoping to throw one together maybe before the end of the year or January. Um, but if you check our reviews, they often mention the, the support. We have, uh, unlike most software companies, we actually invest, uh, we overinvest in, uh, in support. And we recently launched our customer success team as well. Uh, this is, has been a decision from, from day one when we started out. We noticed that it's incredibly hard to build this type of software in a way so that it can be well supported. But just because it, we have built it in a way that is well supported doesn't mean that support is good. I mean, if there's a lot of customers asking questions at the same time, you can't answer everyone, which is why Josh here has built an amazing team that is able to keep up with the, with the demand. So now that's all about HostAway. Sorry for the shameless self-promotion here. Um, sometimes I'm humble, sometimes not. Today, I'm apparently not humble. 
Now I wanted to hand it over to Maria, our VP of product, whose team has been working for a long time. No, is it to Josh? Okay. His team hasn't been working a long time on building the smart lock connections that we're about to reveal, but his team knows exactly why they're needed. Josh, over to you. Yeah, thanks, Marcus. We're uh, we've got to build up to Maria. See, it's such a it's such a big thing she's going to be doing with our product demo today. We've got to build that, that momentum up. So we, the, the suspense, we'll let Maria cook for a little bit. So thanks, Marcus. Uh, yeah. So I want to start out by uh, kind of answering. I've heard this. Uh, I wouldn't say quite often, but one of the top questions I get asked with customers is, why did uh, Hostaway uh, release smart locks as a product? Um, and then kind of what advantage do I get out of using smart locks in general? Um, so why smart locks as a product, right? So this is our second product we've ever released at Hostaway. Our first being obviously our award-winning uh, property management software that uh, everybody here uses, or if you don't, I hope to see you soon. It's a great product. Uh, so releasing smart locks, right? So we released smart locks because quite frankly, it was a uh, it was an easy thing for us to go in and achieve for our customers, right? Uh, it was rec it was uh, requested fairly often uh, as a having a single location to manage their smart locks outside of integrating into um, Hostway, uh, just having it inside of our dashboard. So uh, the biggest thing we we look at here is um, uh, what we try to run everything through uh, a lens of is you'll see right there on your screen. Um, one of our values here at Hostaway is our customer success is our success. So whenever we have a product initiative or a CS initiative, a customer success initiative, or really any other initiative here at Hostaway, we say, how can this make our customers more successful? Whether that be saving them time, saving them money, increasing their revenue, or just making their lives in general easier, right? Uh, and so this fits right into that because not only can you manage your smart locks, give a best, better uh, guest experience, um, uh, in one platform, it just seamlessly ties everything together. So um, it wasn't, I don't, don't want to say easy to do, but it, it does it, it does make your life a lot easier. So that's why we chose smart locks is because we wanted to uh, start uh, finding ways to just make your life a lot easier. And you'll be more successful by utilizing this piece of software inside of Hostway. Um, so I wanted to run through why adopt smart locks in general, right? So we talked about the software piece, which is Hostway. Um, why smart locks? Why do I want to go buy the hardware for smart locks? Or what do I use with smart locks? So over the co course of the last couple of months, I've spoken to a lot of different customers, obviously, uh, in regards to smart locks. Um, and they go in one of three camps, right? Those who have not started, uh, those who do not use smart locks at all. So those that don't have any sort of smart lock capabilities, they have dumb locks. Uh, those that uh, have smart locks and don't rotate their codes, right? Um, I thought this was kind of an anomaly. I was like, why, why do you have smart locks and you don't, don't randomly send different codes? I, I spoke to multiple customers that have smart locks um, and they use the same code over and over and over. And I'll, I'll get to why that's kind of like a, you're looking at it and you're like, why, you know, why uh, do, is this even, uh, is this, is this, is this secure, right? That's the first thought that comes to my mind is uh, the security aspects of things, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then those that have adopted smart locks and are rotating codes and just basically using them what they're for. Um, so in software, uh, you'll, you'll see a couple different terms when it comes to adoption of, of different software. You have the innovators, right? The ones that are, are, are quick to market and they innovate the best new technology that comes out right away. Then you have the early adopters. Those that come around after the uh, innovators, they've seen the, the value of the software and they start adopting it. Uh, then you get the early majority, the late majority, and then what you call the laggards. And the laggards are the ones that go adopt it at the end uh, of the the, the market, uh, the go to market phase. Um, and they're the ones that have a hard time adopting new software. And then, then they have to play catch up. What we're doing here at Hostway is making sure that you don't fall into that late category. Uh, now, if you want to, it's your business, right? Uh, you can do whatever you want to. Uh, but you're going to have to play catch up sooner or later. They're coming. This is coming, right? Smart locks have been around for a while now. Um, so you're not necessarily in the innovators or early adopters, but you can be in that early majority and means that you can get in now, save your time, uh, save time later in, uh, down the road um, uh, from learning this software, piece of software, go ahead and uh, adopt it now um, and, and get to things. So I hope this helps in, into why we chose smart locks and why you should adopt smart locks. But if not, here's some more reasons. Uh, so the first one's first, right? Studies uh, have shown that guests are willing to pay 60% more for uh, smart home features. Um, and it makes sense, right? And you might say, well, you know, what's, 
Well, why, why is that? Well, it, it, it makes guys guest life easier. And, you know, when I go and I search for Airbnbs uh, uh, or vacation rentals that I want to stay at, it's a big selling point. If I don't have to talk to uh, someone to check in, I, I don't have to uh, 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 worry about the codes. It's kind of like going to a hotel, right? Um, if you gave them the same, if you gave, got the same door key or you didn't have the check-ins, right? It's not the same experience. And you got to start uh, kind of... Um, uh, it, putting yourself uh, in advantage by uh, increasing your guest experience. So um, it's talking about uh, enhanced guest experience uh, with smart locks. So uh, gone are the days of coordinating key pickups. So I was just talking about or worrying about lost or duplicated uh, keys. Uh, smart locks, they streamline the check-in process, allowing guests to uh, access the rentals without any physical key exchange. Uh, this convenience translate into a, a smoother, more enjoyable experience for all the guests Often uh, it reflects in your positive reviews, uh, which is the key, right? So you can do all this guest experience, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, what matters is how are they going to get reviews, which is going to increase my bookings. Uh, increased security. We talked about this a little bit, but I want to dive into it now. Traditional keys can be duplicated, lost or left under mats. Uh, this leading to potential security risk. I've got some customers I've talked to uh, before, one that comes to mind, that they take a picture of the key under a uh, bicycle helmet that's around the back of their shed. And they send it to a guest every time and say, go pick this up behind the shed. Now, I don't know how you guys are, but if I heard that, I would say, how secure is this location? <laughs> how many times has this picture been sent out? Uh, and the same thing goes for not rotating keys, right? If you've got smart locks and you're not rotating codes, um, you know, I'm going to think personally, I would think how many times has this code been sent out to someone? So increase security, uh, give them that peace of mind when they come in to check in. Um, operational efficiency. So managing keys, especially for multiple properties, can be a logistical nightmare. Uh, smart locks eliminates the needs for key handoffs, returns, or replacement. So this not only saves time, but also reduces your operational costs. Um, also, we talk about uh, some real-time monitoring. So with smart locks, property managers can monitor access in real time. Uh, this feature provides valuable insights, like ensuring that guests have checked in or out at the scheduled times. Or if you have service personnel going out, like cleaners or maintenance teams, uh, you, uh, you can check and see that they have access to property, um, which is very important, right? So that goes back to being able to uh, run your operations without you know, having to go on site every time. Uh, remote access controls. Unexpected situations can arise. Um, a guest may forget a code. There might be an emergency that requires immediate property access. With smart locks, property managers can control locks remotely, addressing each situation instantly without, again, going back on on site. So saving you time and money. Um, and then finally, kind of the long-term savings. So while the initial investment might seem high for smart lock hardware, the initial investment for the software is not that much at all. It's more of a value add for you as a customer here at Hostway. The long-term savings, they are tangible. So reduced risk of thefts or break-ins, lowered operational costs, and potentially higher rental rates due to the, expect, uh, the enhanced guest uh, experience, this can all lead to favorable returns on investment. So my suggestion is to really, really start thinking about how you want to be an innovator and set yourself apart from the competition uh, with technology. Technology is your friend and it will be for a long time. And if you're not adopting now, you're going to be forced to in the future. So why not go ahead and get, get ahead of it right now? Uh, so next slide here. All right. So we've talked a little about the, about the why. So let's start talking about maybe what the Hostaway product actually is. And then again, as I said before, Maria is going to give us a demo. She's cooking right now after this, so stay tuned. Uh, so some of the features and some of the uh, talking points I want to uh, bring across here uh, for smart locks are uh, consolidated lock management. So in today's fast product paced world, effic efficiency is paramount. Uh, navigating through different platforms or interfaces uh, to manage various smart locks can be cumbersome and time consuming. With Hostaway smart locks, you'll enjoy an integrated experience. Every smart lock you own will be seamlessly connected, accurately mapped, and effortlessly managed right through our Hostaway dashboard. So simplification, simplification meets sophistication. So manage everything inside of the Hostaway dashboard, basically what that comes down to. Uh, automated co uh, code creation and sending. So enhancing your guest experience means offering convenience. Uh, traditional key handoffs can lead to logistical nightmares, as we talked about earlier, mis and miscommunications. Uh, with our automated systems, uh, now unique access codes are generated and sent directly to your guests, whether it's through our automated messaging system or through the guest portal. Uh, we ensure that your guests receive their codes promptly, and this eliminates any potential access hiccups. 
and then connecting different brands, right? So the market offers a range of smart lock brands, each with their own set of features. We believe you should have the freedom to choose without any uh, compatibility concerns. Uh, with the Hostway Smart Locks product, brand diversity isn't a challenge, it's an advantage. Be it Yale, Schlage, or multiple other brands, our platform bridges the gap, letting you connect multiple lock providers seamlessly. And then on this one, we get down to the tackle items. Remote lock and unlock. So down to the nitty gritty, right? The ones and the zeros. Real-time control provides peace of mind. Uh, situations may arise where immediate lock control becomes necessary. With HostAway Smart Locks, no matter where you are, our platform ensures that you retain full control. With a few clicks, you can remotely lock or unlock your doors, ensuring safety and offering flexibility. Uh, we also have a, a really awesome battery status. Uh, so your Smart Lock is only as smart when it's on. Uh, a Smart Lock is only good as its power source. A deadlock can lead to significant inconveniences for both hosts and guests. And I I hear you you thinking now, like, how did this happen? I've had, had multiple uh, property managers this actually happened to. It's one of the reasons why we have it in our product. Uh, our dashboards doesn't our dashboard doesn't uh, just provide you with access management. It monitors battery health. Uh, by displaying the battery life of all your devices, we make certain you're never caught off guard with a drain battery, which results into you having a dumb lock and not a smart lock. So it defeats the point. Um, and then finally, multi-lock or multi-units or multi-lock and multi-units. So modern hosting scenarios can be quite diverse. You might have multiple locks for a single listing or a single lock granting access to multiple units. Flexibility and mapping is essential. Our platform is designed for this very setup. Whether you're mapping multiple locks to one listing, one lock to several listings, or even addressing multi-unit listings, we've got you covered. And then on the next slide here, I want to take a breath. We now have gone through the overview of HostAway Smart Locks. It's important to mention here on this slide here, during this, this product is 100% backed by HostAway. Our award-winning support teams, industry-leading financial backing, and the world-class development team all ensures that you get a superb product with the HostAway standard of quality and support. There is no need to use multiple applications any longer. HostAway makes it easy to manage all of your properties and Smart Locks in one centralized location. So with that, I think we're going to get over to the meat and potatoes of this uh, this uh, webinar. I'd like to turn it over to our VP of product, Maria, to walk through some more of the features and give us a quick demo of the Smart Lock product. So thank you. I'll be looking for your questions in the Q&A. Thank you, Josh, and uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, very happy to be here presenting this new product uh, from HostAway. Um, Basically, all I want to do here is a little bit more of a deep dive on the features and then actually give you a live demo because, you know, I like risk and uh, and I'm going to do a live demo of the of the feature here as we speak. So a couple of questions that I want to answer before we go into the demo. Uh, I saw a couple of questions regarding different types of logs, etc. So today we support around 21 smart log brands, but this is not uh, the end for us. So we're going to be looking at what other brands we will be able to support in the future. So it's a product that is going to be evolving over the months. Um, we chose those 20 ones because they were the most common ones. And I, th I saw people commenting on Schlager. Someone needs to tell me how to pronounce that. But anyway, I will. Schlager, Yale, August, Igloo, etc. Uh, they all covered. And you will see in a minute. Um, we also allow you to link multiple lock providers to the same account. So that's paramount if you have a property where you use different uh, brands. So that's not um, an impossibility and it's common. So you will be able to link all of those to your account. We support multi-units. I saw a question regarding representative inventory. Yes, we do um, support representative inventory. And you will be able to use these products um, uh, with multi-unit listings, um, which means you will be able to map uh, smart locks uh, to the uh, to the unit level and create codes at unit level as well. So because we know that you may have different devices on the same property or you may have multiple properties using the same device, so we have you covered there. You can map multiple devices to one listing or map multiple listings to one device. Now, when it comes to manage the lock, there are a few things that you can do. You can obviously see the device battery level and online status, and always, obviously always be uh, prepared and understand if you need to take some action on the actual lock. 
um, you will be able for troubleshooting or security, change the code, change the code validity as well, and remove the code. And you will be able to create permanent codes and backup codes. So permanent codes are very useful if you have, you know this obviously, uh, if you have um, stuff that need to access the property regularly. So for instance, a, uh, a cleaner or a maintenance person. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to give them a new code every time uh, they need to access the property. So you can create permanent ones, but you have full control and I'll show you in a minute. So you can decide when to end the permanent uh, code or you delete the code, change it, etc. All right. So if without further ado, if I'm able to share my screen. Okay. So you, for those of you that are already uh, host away um, users, you've noticed already that we have a new menu item here on the main navigation. It's called Smalldocs. And this is a new product. And this product is ready for you to purchase on top of your host away subscription. So how do you do that? So the first thing I would ask you to do, of course, for those of you that have questions regarding the, uh, the supported devices is to check the list of supported devices. You click on the support devices button. And we provide a really comprehensive list of devices here per brand. So August devices, jail devices, etc. So you can check on your devices, the name, but also the reference ID. This is important because some of them are similar uh, and the reference ID in that case is what makes the difference, right? So it makes you understand if we are supporting this or not. All right, so once you, you, you've done that and you're sure that it's um, your, um, lock is supported, the only thing you need to do is now connect. When connecting, you will be signing a contract and we make it clear here because we like to be transparency, we make it clear for you what the expectation is gonna be on this contract, what the price is gonna be, etc. cetera. Um, agree to the terms, sign the contract. Now, when signing the contract, the subscription uh, doesn't kick in yet. Your subscription will kick in when you map the devices to the actual distance, right? So all you do here now, after signing the contracts, is connecting your um, manufacturer brand or your manufacturer account to Hostaway. And you do it by searching for it. In my case, I'm going to use Igloo, which is the test account that we're using. And I remind everyone, this is just a test account. And hopefully... It will work. So it redirects me to the Igloo interface and now come back to HostAway, successfully connect it, return to HostAway. Okay, so we return to the dashboard. And now you can see that it's okay. I got a little message here saying that I've been connected successfully. Now I can see all of my listings, uh, my multi unit listings, representative inventory listings, or my single listings as well. So um, all I need to do now is to start the configuration. Uh, so basically, which means mapping the devices to the listing and also provide some validity to the codes. I recommend providing validity to the codes because uh, you want them to, for security reasons, you want to start uh, the validity of the code X amount of time before and after checkout. So uh, let's start Let's start with Paradise Road, right? So you have padlocks here. In the drop down menu, I will see all of the logs that are under my Igloo account. All right, so I can actually have two or three connected to one of the properties, and I can add the validity here, right? Uh, for instance, now I want this code to be valid 30 minutes before check in, 30 minutes after checkout. And because I don't want you to do that for all of the listings, we can do it in bulk. We copy the validity in bulk for all of the listings like this. Now, uh, if I save this now, it's gonna give me an error because I need to provide devices to my uh, other units, my multi-unit listings. I will do this like this, this way. All right, so now that I have this configuration done, I save, oops, I forgot this too, all right. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, click on save. And now my configuration is saved. I can come back here, change it. If you um, change your brand, you can actually also uh, uh, import another brand, etc. So you can connect as many devices and brands as you want. 
All right, so once the configuration is set, um, my recommendation, especially for those of you that already host away customers that have reservations in the future already created, is to create our codes. So what happens here when you create our codes is that for those reservations that exist in the system and they have a check-in in the future, um, those that don't have a door code, we will create a door code. For those that have an existing door code, we will map the existing door code to the padlock, right? So we will not make any modifications if they already have a door code. That's important to remember. All right, so you, I create door codes and the system tells me the calls all future reservations are created. Now, any new reservation that comes uh, to host away, we will generate a door code automatically. You don't have to do anything, okay? So that's the, the important thing to remember. Okay, so now all of my listings, all of my uh, maps, now all of my properties, uh, sorry, my uh, reservations should have a door code. And if I go to the calendar here, I was a little bit cheeky and I created a reservation before this, um, this uh, webinar. It's called Carolyn here. I go, Caroline, I should be able to see the door code generated in the reservation. Navigate down, and this is the door code that I just created. Uh, remember, the reservation existed before. I didn't have one, I didn't show it before, but it didn't have a door code. Now the door code populates this field. Remember that these fields are, are variables within our system, is what we call standard fields and you can use this field on automations i saw a question before about how do i manage how do i send these door codes to my guests well you do that by creating an automation in our system uh same uh, like this one for instance i have it created already uh it says check in instructions and some code some text and this is your door code so this is what we call a standard field it's a dynamic variable that it will be populated with the door codes. As simple as that. So now, so the reservation has its code, right? Um, what else we can do here? Um, I can change the codes from the reservation directly. I can edit the reservation, change the codes. Don't cancel the reservation, please. Thank you. Edit the reservation. Uh, change the door code. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how it looks in the smart locks, in the devices. Now, remember that I have my listings mapped to two devices here. So they appear in the list of devices that I have them map. And I believe it was hopefully counting this Paradise Road. Do I have Paradise Road there? Let's see. OK. So it had to happen. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Okay, no problem. Let's try and do it differently then. Let's create a access code, right? Okay, so it should happen that it's in here. I could see the uh, the um, the code for Caroline. So maybe I can create a new reservation. Let's create one. By the way, these malloc works with uh, owner stays and direct bookings as well, or actually reservations, any type of reservation. Right. So let's find maybe John. Right. So save. Okay, so I create a reservation and I have to be sure that yes, I have Paradise. Yeah, road connected. I'm just going to try and create the door code. And hopefully it gets updated on this reservation that I just created. So go back to the calendar. Fresh to see the reservation. Uh, 
Star code. Okay. So this is the dark code that it just created again by hitting on create our code. So hopefully it would work here. I must remind everyone that this is a test um, account on Igloo as well. So yeah, here it is. Okay. Sometimes it plays up a little bit. All right. So this is the uh, the code that I just generated. You can see it here. So what, what can I do? I can copy the code. If it doesn't work, I can edit the code and change it. I can even add the uh, name, the new code, etc. change the validity, etc. Um, I can edit the code as well in the reservation, as I mentioned. And if I edit it on the reservation, it will be uh, edited here as well. So it will be modified here as well. So it's always synchronized and connected. I can lock or unlock the device from here. So I can actually uh, provide the ability to open the device or not. And um, I can also see what is online, the battery, etc. So what is the issue here? So on the, um, actually, let me lock it again. Okay, so um, if a reservation is modified, uh, for instance, if I change the, uh, or if uh, the guest decides to change the length of the stay or, you know, changes the check-in date, um, we will also modify the validity of the code. So for instance, if I go here to do, 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 do edit this reservation, this, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I change the uh, check-in date to be on the 29th, right? The code that we saw before should have a start date of the 28th. I keep hitting on reservations. Okay, so this code starts on the 28th of October. If I now change the reservation to start on the 29th, okay, then as you can see, it automatically changed the validity of the code to the 29th of October. The same with the door code. I can modify the door code here. Okay, let's go digit, save. Okay, and this also should be updated. One file, one, four, five, seven. Okay, so we always keep synchronized both the reservation and the information that we have on these mail logs. Now, if the reservation gets canceled, what will happen is that we revoke the access to the door lock. Uh, we will not delete the uh, the code, but we revoke the access. So the, the code basically doesn't work anymore. Um, and we support pre-programming codes for those locks that support pre-programming. And when we do that, the validity of the code will be 72 hours before the actual start date. So in this case, if this was a pre-programming code, it would be 72 hours before the 29th of October. And during those 72 hours, you can uh, cancel, you can remove, you can do anything with it or change the code as well. Now, I spoke before about creating permanent codes uh, in case you need to give those codes to uh, your cleaning staff, your maintenance staff, etc. Um, you can do so very simply. So you, you saw it before. Uh, if I open the, uh, the device, I can see all of the access codes here and all the reservations. So I just need to click on the plus sign name the code, let's cleanings, okay. So from that, do the cleaning for my test listing. And I can enter manually a code or just generate a random one like this, 9239. And now uh, in order to make it permanent, you just leave ongoing checked, right? So that, that means that the, um, the code never ends, the validity of the code never ends. However, if you still want to have some uh, validity to or to some uh, scheduling to it, you can do it so 
maybe you want to change every month, you want to change every three months, whatever it is, you can do the same here. But for this demo, I will leave it as ongoing and you can click save. And you will see here that, okay, I just create a new code that never ends and the code is 9239. You can share this code through our tasks module as well. You can put it on the outer task and it will be sent to the assignee or you can send it in any other way as well. And that's mostly it. I hope it was useful. Thank you very much, Maria. Looks like it uh, it worked. Live demos are always difficult. I see there's a lot of questions that have been asked. In fact, 59 so far, and I expect us not to be able to answer them all. But I, I'd like to address two questions that I noticed were quite common before we dive into them. Um, there's a lot of question about pricing, and I got some good news for you. If you're on the edge of using smart locks, or if you already started using smart locks, they're not gonna, oh yeah, sorry, this, in order to uh, get more information, you can reach out to support or our customer success team. And um, here are the email addresses. That's probably the easiest way in case uh, the demo wasn't enough to get you started. Uh, now let's get to the Q&A section. So the first uh, couple of questions were about pricing. As I was saying, your smart lock is not spying on you. There's an old old saying that says, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. This is the case of a lot of services, like every social media network. Even if you buy a Roku or a Fire Stick, if there's a system behind it that requires maintenance, that costs money. And the same can be said about smart locks. Uh, sure, you pay for the actual hardware, but then in order for the lock to work continuously, uh, the creator has to pay money every month to maintain it. How do they get that money? Well, there's there's a couple of choices. They could be stealing your data and selling it to someone, but they're not doing that. At least mo the big ones that were named in this webinar, they are not doing that. Instead, what they do is they open up access for uh, so-called third-party developers, which is exactly what Hostaway is. And it's those third-party developers that are paying for the maintenance of the smart lock. So this is why the smart locks, you don't need to pay a monthly fee to have it. But if you want to use any service like Hostaway, we have to pay a monthly fee for each smart lock. And this is why we have to charge money for uh, the usage of smart locks. And this is why there's a lot of other solutions out there that connect to smart locks. All of them charge money. It's not for profit. It's simply that when you're buying the lock, it includes a lifetime service, but you're not paying for it every month. Instead, you pay whatever service you connect to the smart lock. Um, another question uh, or common question was um, about other companies that provide smart lock connectivity. We have a lot of partners on our marketplace, uh, and many of them uh, do exactly what is being done here. Many of them do different things. Uh, I think a good example was one of the partners that connects to the thermostat and automatically turns it on or off, depending on whether a guest is coming or not, um, that's functionality that we don't have. And uh, this is why we have an extremely strong uh, strong partner uh, network that you can use. If you go to our website, hostaway.com, you can check out Marketplace. And there's even a category called, uh, I think, home automation. And, and there's 10 or 20 different partners there that, that you can use. So now I'll give it over to, to Josh and Maria. Let's start. Now it's 62 questions unanswered. Great. I think it's a good point, Marcus. The when you when you start comparing, you know, uh, other there's there's big companies out there that uh that's all their product is is remote locks and a lot of value adds onto that. What we try to do here at Hostwing is simplify that for you. So if you just need to manage uh your smart locks in, in one centralized location, uh, and that's all you need to do, or maybe this is your first entry into even using smart locks in general, uh, this is a product that's gonna suit you. If you wanna get more fancy and in-depth about it, there's tons of partners out there that will be more than glad to, to, to charge you more money to do that. And, and they're they're there for a reason, right? So uh, so yeah, the pricing is something that came up a lot. Um, which smart locks do you recommend, right? We got, a, we got a long list of them, Maria, but I think we can knock out a couple of questions here. What do you recommend? And I have X smart lock, or do you support that? If not, when are you going to support it? And how do we request it to be supported? I guess we can put those all into one. 
Yeah, I also see a lot of questions about uh, supporting different other brands, you know, this, uh, Sifoli or Safely or Sifoli, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But um, so what we're doing is uh, we are compiling all this feedback. And like I mentioned, this is a product that is going to be evolving also in the in the coming months. So I'm pretty sure that we'll be adding more, more brands to it, even more functionality. I see people asking about uh, why not being able to use the four last digits of your telephone number. Yes, so that's definitely something that we want to look into. There has been a little bit of technical difficulty in, in allowing this. It's also kind of a security um, a concern there because telephone numbers flow freely on, on different uh, uh, devices, on different um, uh, channels of communication. So it, they are kind of easy to guess, to guess right? So you... Um, I if I were if I if it was my property I would probably prefer random codes than than use the four digit, last digits of my of my telephone number, but I understand the need so you, we will look into that for sure. Yeah, and we got a, a question here, uh, Guillermo. He said he was browsing through the list of smart lock options. It's overwhelming, overwhelmingly long. Is there a hostway tool or resource that can help us quickly decide? Look, I get it, right? There's a lot of options out there. Uh, if you need us to just kind of uh, say, hey, here's a smart lock. This is going to work with Hostway 100%. We can do that. So all the ones that are listed on the page, you're more than glad to go out and do some, some comparison shopping. But if you need more guidance on that, Gilmo, email customer success at hostway.com. We'll get somebody to get in touch with you and kind of walk you through that. Uh, more than glad. As that question is quite popular, I'll give the short answer here. What you want is Schlage on code. That's uh, and, and I'm basing that not only on the fact that I have it on at least one of my doors, uh, also on the fact that when you go into any discussion groups between property managers and there's a ton of people asking what smart log are you using, this one seems to be the most popular one, which probably means that any specific use cases you may have is going to be in the future is going to be supported by that. Now, uh, I'll take a question here. So Jonathan is asking. If you do not have the content information for a guest as they come through an OTA, how can we get the information to the guest if we're not a 24-hour property? That's a great question. Uh, first of all, uh, you should be, uh, all the OTAs, you should get the contact details from there, assuming that they are official, they are using a software that is an official partner. So um, that's why I mentioned at the beginning here that Hostaway has the highest um partnership tiers with these big OTAs this means that we get the co contact information but not only that we also have a connection through an API direct directly into their own messaging systems and this is something that that a lot of PMSs out there they might say that yeah we support so many OTAs yeah but do you actually support sending messages within their internal system so that's what our system allows but just to make sure that uh, that doesn't fail because as you all know, even the big OTA, sometimes you send a message and it's not received by the guest. Um, we also support text messages and WhatsApp. Correct. So you, um, I think that's another question that maybe something I didn't show us a few questions about it. So do I get notified if the code, if there's an error on the code? Yes, we have a notification system for it for any error on the connection of the code, and you will be notified about it. Um, for troubleshooting purposes, we provide some information. We provide the ID of the log. Uh, and if you can kind of fix it, then um, please contact our technical support team. That will be super helpful, uh, super happy to help you with any with any issues there. So yeah, very nice. Uh, uh, ah, go ahead, Josh. Yeah, I got one about the mobile apps. First time we've kind of talked about mobile apps. So, uh, is it available in the mobile app? Uh, if not, any roadmap on that? What's the what's the status on that? A oh, great question. So, in the mobile app, you can actually edit the codes. Remember that you can edit the code at the reservation, and we will update that that editing into the the actual lock. Um, the plan is to bring in the lock and unlock functionality, which is probably the most common, yeah, commonly used functionality to the uh, to the mobile app. So there is roadmap for for uh, ha having uh, some part of the functionality of the smart locks uh, on the mobile app as well. Yeah, there's a really good question here by Heather. Uh, she's asking, do you have to be physically on site to connect the lock? So um, 
and I, I don't have this uh, I don't have the exact answer but what I can tell you is that a locksmith will be able to install locks and they'll be more than happy to do 20 doors if that's what it takes uh, you may want to check with other users Facebook is a pretty good place to get get uh, information on what it actually takes to to activate the lock because you do not need to be on site to connect host away to the lock but if someone else goes there and installs it for you then how do you get access to it on your cell phone to create the create the username and password that's something that I'm not sure which models can do it remotely but I'm sure there's there's at least a couple of them There's another question here is the do you guys sell locks? Who knows? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Maybe in the future. <laughs> no, we we don't um uh don't sell any locks. Uh we we support a lot of locks. And and the reason this is a, a such a big deal for us is that we've been looking at uh smart locks for many years and it was inevitable that it was gonna be so popular and uh, we decided to integrate as many as possible and that's why the list will keep growing actually when you load it sometimes there's a new lock added there um all right let's try to pick up some questions here so you I think someone may be coming a little bit later uh, to the webinar, Terry, so you, uh, just demonstrate how to connect the log, but basically it's you need to have an account with a brand manufacturer and we connect that account to Hostaway and then we will see all the logs that you have under that account. Very summarized. Yeah, there seems to be a couple of questions regarding the the pricing of this. Um, so the it's a sliding scale depend, depending on the number of locks that you connect. So when you add more locks, the price drops down. So the the cheapest tier, I think, it was it's mentioned there. When you start connecting, you can go into your dashboard and you can click connect, and you'll you'll get the agreement and see exactly the pricing. But it's uh, calculated every month, so. If you start with one lock, the price is higher than if you have a hundred locks. And yes, Whitney will will get back to you regarding pricing. Um, yeah, real quick, Terry. Um, Terry, this uh, I'm going to have your customer success manager John reach out to you. Uh, I see you got a couple of questions about uh, smart locks from WWVK. Uh, we're, we're going to reach out to that. I look forward, forward to take care of those in one one call. There's a question from Castin. Are we all? Uh, are we going to have an option to also do a guest portal from Hostaway? Maria, maybe you can take that one. Well, we already have a guest portal from Hostaway, and uh, that guest portal allows you to um, basically either collect payment if you haven't done so from a reservation. It allows you to upsell products and services to the guest portal and collect payment for that. It allows you to um, um, do online check-in for your guests and collect data from your guests uh, and all of the guests that are going to um, be staying on the property. And that includes uh, IDs, that includes email addresses, that includes uh, names, etc. cetera. Uh, and yes, so that's already uh, part of our product suite and it's part of the main uh, product host away subscription. There was another good question there. Uh, I don't remember who asked, but what if what if you'd like to only send the code if certain conditions are met? Is that something that is possible, Maria, or something that we are planning in the future? Yes, we have conditions on our automation. So for instance, uh, I guess the most typical one would be the rental agreement. So if someone signs the rental agreement, then I send you the check-in instructions and the door code, and that's in the system. So you can choose that. And then if they sign the agreement, off you go. If they don't, sorry. That's absolutely amazing. And Chantal here, thank you for your questions slash comments slash feedback uh chatel writes glad to see it changes the door codes day if the guest changes their reservation that's an issue i'm having with my current pms 
Um, for those of you who are out there shopping around, considering which PMS to use, I think Chantal's comment here is really brilliant because it's easy to say we support something or our software can do this, but it actually has to do it in a way that makes sense for you. And uh, that typically is quite complex and expensive to build, which is why we invest in making sure that every use case is covered before we even release a product. So thank you, Chantal, for making our day. Now, anonymous attendee is asking whether we recommend having permanent codes for housekeeping. Um, then they could come in at any time. What is best for security purposes? That's a brilliant question. I would like to call the uh, the audience here, but it's the um, the I mean, you can have permanent codes that never ends, right? So you, you need to understand also the level of trust that you have on 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 your team. Uh, but at the same time, you can have so-called permanent codes that maybe expire in a month or you want to change them every three months. So you can actually time those to expire at any time that you want. Either you want to make them permanent forever or set at the time to expire. That's not a problem. Here's a good question from Barbara, who's asking, how can we manage security from the site? Who can see the permanent codes? And also Abby is asking, is there a way to add one team member across all locks or do they need to be added individually to each lock? Maybe so you could share that's a, a great question. And so our system works on a level of, um, you create users in our platform, you give them access to different things and you can basically control uh, who has access to to what activities, to what modules there. So that's what you can do with uh, with the smart locks as well. Um, I need to double check if we can actually do it on a specific yeah, user level. I'll check that and I'll let you know. All right, then Joy is asking, how different is this dashboard from Lockly's, especially if you're mainly using Lockly? products um unless josh and maria has some specific knowledge about lockley that i never heard, never heard about i'll try to answer that even though i never heard about them so the advantage here is that you get all in one system so for example when you have your operations manager uh, you can give them access to manage the payment details of the guests you can give them access to edit the marketing materials adjust the website create promotions send out emails uh, and manage the smart locks, and you can manage the team through Hostaway. If you're using multiple different systems, all of that becomes much more difficult. Now, on the other hand, if you're one person managing one property, that may not be as valuable for you. And if you already have a system that works for you, by all means, go ahead and, and use that. But usually when it's time to either automate, save time, or scale up your business, that's when you want to have a have a look at all the systems that you're using and see is there something out there that could work better for me. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth mentioning again. There's companies out there that are very large that that they do the same thing as Hostway does with smart locks, uh, and then add a bunch of stuff on top of it, right? So it really kind of you need to go out and figure out what do I need? It, does Hostway do what we what we need to do with smart locks, or do we need all of this stuff that goes along with some of the the larger providers? And some people do, right? Uh, what we try to provide here is the the easiest solution for you to integrate into uh, with your Hostaway dashboard, uh, and and the pricing matches that, right? Uh, so the you got a question here: Is the pricing tiered or is it sliding scale? Good question. So the pricing is tiered. Again, just to remind everyone that this webinar is being recorded and we will share it on our YouTube account. Yep. Yeah. Terry, you're asking here, how do you connect the lock to Hostaway? I think that's exactly what Maria just showed in the demo. You can find it on YouTube, but please do reach out to customer success at hostaway.com. They are waiting for people like you to reach out and ask, can you help me connect this? Right, Josh? Yeah, Terry, we've already got your CSM reaching out, actually. So John will be reaching out here very soon. You see, the, we, don't, we don't sit sit around uh, rolling thumbs here at Hostaway. We get things done. Um, Let's see. Here's a good question. What about doors that are locked but open? Do you plan to add support for door sensors as well? 
and I'll expand that, Maria. What about the window sensors? I don't know why. I, you know, I, I started working in this industry seven years ago. And until then, I didn't know there was such a phenomenon as people going into other people's home and either turning the heat to max in winter and then opening all the windows, or in summer or in hot areas, they turn the air conditioning on max and then opening all the windows. And that was, I think, the biggest surprise I've learned from vacation rentals, that there are people who do that. I, I wouldn't say for a living. I don't think you get paid for that, but, but people do it. I, I, I still don't know why. But question to Maria, what about door and window sensors? Great question. So to give you a little hint, uh, this product is what was going to call smart locks and devices. The devices will be also part of the roadmap for this. Did I answer the question? I hope. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so Robert says the Schlage Home app is free and very user friendly. Yes, I I definitely don't think you need this solution if you can go and program the locks manually. I mean, if you're one person managing one property and you got one guest per week, it's not it's not a big work if you got got a good app. Uh, that's free to just go and program it. But when you're renting out several properties, then doing it automatic, uh, sorry, doing it manually. Well, what if you make a mistake? You type in the wrong code and then, uh, then the guest can't get in. That's not a, not a good experience. But uh, yeah, definitely use, use the native apps if that, uh, that works for you. And if you feel you ever want to automate or save time, that's when you can take into use, uh, use Hostaway smart locks. And Maria, uh, kind of, uh, what would be the best way to collect feedback on all this? Is it to to email and to support? Yes. So I think we showed it before either the support at Hostaway and the customer success at hostaway.com emails. Those are probably the best ways to uh, get the feedback. Here's a good question. Is there documentation on how to set up a remote log, for example, Yale or Schlager? So for us, the difference, you know, it's pretty simple. It's just the login. So uh, you don't have to set up anything other than knowing your username and password to your account. And we will import everything from those accounts. So there's really not a lot of difference on how this uh, setup is is done. Um, but but yeah, we... I will I will put the link here. We do have a support it, article right? yeah. call, mm -hmm. called How to Connect to Hostaway Smart Locks. So that one should should walk you through the steps. For example, step one is go to smart locks in the main menu. So it's very, very user friendly. Now, Matthew commented on one of the conditions for sending out the code would be completing the online check-in. Um, that's a good, uh, good point. Maria, do you have any, any opinions on online check-in forms? But it's a great idea. So the online check-in form only happens you, I mean you can see you can send it uh based on on a condition uh so and the guests will only see the online check-in form for instance if they pay the reservation already or something else has happened so it's not that it's, you know they will be able to see any information that uh, is relevant to the check-in without not being confirmed yeah that would be great if we could have it as a, as a condition for the automations. Looks like we're up on time and we managed to get quite through quite a few questions. We are down to 39, which is uh, uh, still record high. I think we need to dedicate more time to answer more time to answering questions here. But I'm very happy to see that uh, so many of you were excited to join this uh, this webinar. Once again, please re reach out to support at hostaway.com or customer success at hostaway.com. All right. Thank you and see you next month. Yeah. Thank you.